which is made up of 193 countries in the UN and deals with everything to do with forests and trees outside of forests. What do you mostly like in the forest? What makes you personally enjoy the forest? I don't know what that's... One of my favorite things to do is to lie on the ground and look up at the foliage and just see the leaves against the sky. And of course, also, I love the birds and and I like to spot a bird that you can't see is disguised in the trees. And um, also, I like that I'm learning more and more about the different types of trees in different parts of the world. And it's very exciting. Well, you know, what's really interesting in my job, because I work with all these countries, is that there are indigenous peoples who live in the forest around the world in different parts. I grew up in Central Africa, and there are people who live in the Congo, in the Congo Basin, in this enormous second largest tropical forest in the world. And as a, a teenager, I got a chance to go and visit them. And they're nomadic, they move around, they built their housing out of the branches, and they got all their food from the forest. And I admired them so much, and they're very natural people. And my experience has been that the same situation exists in different parts of the world. That people who live with the forest are people that you can immediately relate to, and they can teach us a lot. And I sometimes I have to go back to that and remind myself that that, is, that kind of existence is pure and and important. You know, from the perspective of the United Nations Forum on Forests, certainly the important thing is we recognize the significance of people who live in forests and in intergovernmental process noted how important it is to have all of you people who live in the forest be able to stay there and have the lives you wish to have. Um, and there are many threats to that life. Um, whether it comes from illegal logging or, or it comes from uh, climate change, the fact is that your lives and the way you wish to live it can be threatened by all of these different forces. Uh, UNFF commits to trying to make a difference with that issue. Uh, we actually celebrated this year uh, two forest heroes, Claudia and Maria, who unfortunately very very terribly were killed for their activism in trying to protect their community in the Amazon. And um, I don't think people really appreciate how much on the edge people are, how close to the edge they live. And it, it, for the UNFF, it became an awakening event to understand and see so closely because the, the sister came to join us. And uh, it was a very moving experience. So, there, but there are people like Claudia and Maria around the world, whose lives and their way of living, their spirituality, their culture is threatened because of these changes. Uh, I personally think it's up to us to change the way and protect them so that they can live the way they wish to.